Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo for the week of October 3rd through the 9th of 2022. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up. And a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. As well as a thank you for those of you who have left comments. Thank you again. All right, Virgo, on that note, let's see what's in store for you. The first card out, the Page of Wands. So new proposals, new beginnings. <clears throat> this could be a long distance call coming in unexpectedly. For some of you, this could be for travel for work for others. You know, it's excitement, you're happy, you know, you're feeling empowered, things are going your way, you're willing to step outside your comfort zone a little bit with this opportunity. Could be that you're hearing from somebody you haven't heard from in a long time and they invite you to come out for a visit too. And the moon card. So, sands are shifting, things are shifting, things are changing in your life all of a sudden. The rules are changing, moods are changing with some people that maybe you're working with or in relationships with or friendships with. It's unexpectedly for others of you. You're not getting enough rest or sleep at night, which is detrimental to your health. So try to take care of that as best you can. Stay sharp, follow your intuition. You know, it won't lead you astray. You, We all have that with ability within us. We just have to learn to trust it a little bit more. And the Knight of Pentacles. So an offer. Good news coming in. Something out of the ordinary. Maybe you're thinking of taking a, a different route going to work. Maybe going to a different store you'd never been to. Taking a trip this weekend. Take a walk in the woods. That sort of thing. Just quiet time to reflect go over things your decisions what you what you're doing in your life this far whom you have in your life this far that sort of thing and the five of wands so a feeling for some of you is that there's some sort of competition now whether there is or isn't it's up to you for some of you this could be you're feeling competition within the workplace within a relationship for others some of you is even in a friendship. But uh, I don't think there really is a lot of competition. I think this is you just feeling as if you need to put out more effort in things. And the Eight of Swords. So taking a time out, stepping back, not feeling secure in your own grounds, feeling like you're being held back. Not quite sure which way to go for freedom for yourself. You have a lot of decisions to make. You need to, you know, make some clarity in your life that you're not going to feel like when you step out, you're going to make the wrong decisions. Sometimes we need to accept our fears in order to go ahead anyhow. And the hangman. All right. So taking a time out, stepping back, you know, feeling as if you need to look at both prospects going on in your life. Now, maybe somebody's made you an offer and uh, you're looking at both sides of it, weighing the pros and cons of what's on the table. For others of you, this could be advice coming into you to maybe help you make a decision that you're trying to go through. And the seven of rods. So defending yourself, standing your ground. You know that you had to. 
you've you know you've climbed that hill whether it's at work or in your relationship or your friendships you know you've had to stand your ground you're not afraid to you know take on whoever it is to you know prove that you're right and the ten of cups so beautiful getting along with people happy home happy life you know you're getting along with your siblings, your other halves, uh, kids in some cases, friendships, you know, getting along with your neighbors, everybody seeing eye to eye. You're just feeling happy, rejoiceful this week. You're understanding that, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel for yourself. This could be an invitation for a new job, one that you're quite happy with and content with. You know, you're getting those great opportunities that were totally unexpected for you. And the Emperor. So this may be an, an opportunity to step away from this, you know, Emperor. Maybe you've been feeling like you're under somebody else's scrutiny all the time. Anything you say, do, or should do, you know, it's always picked to the point of no return. They don't appreciate you. You're feeling, you know, unrespected. Nobody respects where you are, what you've been through, what you're going through, you know, and you want your independence. And the Empress. So you're putting effort into something else. You know, it's, you're feeling abundant about it. You're starting to feel, you know, happy. You're starting to see results coming in more. Things are starting to grow and go the way you want them to. You know, you're, you're um, satisfied with yourself. You're in good health. You're feeling a little more alive. Things are starting to come your way. And the five of pentacles. So feeling like not respect. You know, maybe perhaps you've asked for some advice or some help and what you got offered back wasn't what you wanted. It wasn't what you had asked them to do. Or maybe there's just, you're just tired of trying so hard and getting nothing in return. So you're thinking of just moving on by brighter and better pastures. And the Wheel of Fortune. So there you go. Completions. It's uh, probably the best card you can get in the tarot. It's a lucky one. You know, you get uh, payoffs. You know, this could be money coming in from unexpected sources. Maybe you've won that one little lottery ticket that you've always wanted. That sort of thing. Got a better break in a, um, your jobs. Maybe they've offered you a higher pay in a different line in the field that you work. You know, career changes. Things are starting to go your way. You know, it's long overdue. You've put a lot of effort into a lot of areas in your life. And uh, things are going to change this week for you. It's going on the upswing. Things are starting to turn in your direction. You're getting offers that you never thought you'd ever hear. You know, like I said, this could be in your, you know, your big break in your career, you know, changing the way you look at things going forward for yourself. And the four of pentacles. So there you go. You know, you're, you're hanging on tight to what you have because it's taken you a long time to accomplish it. And you're staying where you are, not really happy in the circumstances, but you're staying put because you're not sure what the future has to offer. So you get stuck sometimes. It's hard to let go of what you know for sure is there, whether you like it or not, into something that you're unsure of, of what it will give you in the future. And the Two of Pentacles. So most definitely trying to make everything in your life balance. You know, trying not to drop one of those pentacles. But you can see in the background the ocean and the waves are, you know, picking up. And you're just, you're tired. You've been at this for a long time. You're just trying to make everything in your life 
more harmonious, but it doesn't always seem to go that way for you. So you're always up in the air on one end of your life or another. And the Page of Cups. So surprise, you know, new opportunity. In some cases, this could be a uh, new romance coming into your life. For others, this is an invitation to do something different in your life. For others of you, this could be a friendship that turns into a little bit more, like a spark of romance in the air. There could be another child coming into your family. Maybe you're expecting an, another baby. Maybe this could be a fur baby coming into some of you guys' lives. But whatever it is, it's coming in fast. You're in its good news. You're quite happy. You know, you're celebrating with your family. You're laughing, having good times. And the Hierophant. That's all right. Maybe seeking some advice. Somebody who has some special um, knowledge in different areas of your life. This could be a, a mentor in the in the form of a psychologist, a doctor, you know, an uncle, an aunt, somebody that you look up to, somebody you respect when they talk. There's te they're coming from the heart. They're not judging. They've been through a lot of things themselves. They're willing to share it with you. For others of you, this could be um, going back to school in some form, taking some course of uh, interest in your life. Um, for others of you, the courses could be to, you know, get a higher paying position in the job that you already exist in. But whatever it is, you're feeling really, really good about yourself this week. Things are starting to look up. Uh, things are starting to come your way. There's more offers, invitations. You're getting along with people better. People are starting to actually really get along well with you. They're starting to see what you have to offer and the true person that you are. All right, we're going to pick and shuffle you an angel oracle card. But yeah, no, it's, it's looking up all good in the future. Things are starting to turn in your favor, you know, invitations coming in going out for you know maybe dinner for some of you so you're just starting to enjoy your life a little more all right you are at the end of a cycle in your life call upon the angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step happiness awaits you now well, that's beautiful virgo there you go All right, on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.